Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, first of all, we are back, okay? We are going to be back uploading here on the channel because the new PC is here, which means I can finally record gameplays for you guys and do videos discussing our class setups, talking about things going on in Cold War, discussing Warzone and the whole situation with Call of Duty right now and different things. But yes, today we are back and we're kicking it off with a KSP gameplay and a KSP best class setup. And not only that, it is a KSP nuclear gameplay, okay? Yes, I pulled off a nuclear, managed to be like one of my first three or four games with recording with a new PC and managed to pull off a nuclear with the KSP. So hopefully that will showcase to you guys how good this gun is. But first of all, what I'm going to do is before showcasing the gameplay in front, is showcase to you guys the class setup so you guys can like take note it down and use it for yourselves, okay? So first of all, what we're going to be using is the muzzle with the muzzle break 0.5 APC, the barrel being the 10.5 task force barrel, the under barrel being the front grip, the handle is going to be the airborne elastic wrap and then finally the stock is going to be the raider stock and that's all you need to make what it is in my opinion the ksp best class setup and again today you're going to be seeing a 67 and 17 game which isn't the greatest thing in the world but we do pull off a nuclear in that 67 and 17 gameplay with the ksp so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get right into today's gameplay right hello guys and welcome to today's video and yes we are back finally with an upload here on the channel because as you guys know or if you guys have seen my previous videos i've been explaining the situation on my channel which was my previous pc unfortunately gave way you know i couldn't do i couldn't make as many videos anymore i couldn't i could barely even get the thing to work and i had to order a new pc and it's been taking its time to get here you know 20 20 odd days or so it's taken me to get this pc and finally it is here and hopefully you guys will be able to notice a few changes one i have brought a new microphone so hopefully you'll be hearing a lot crisper a lot better quality so you guys can hear everything i say nice and clearly no background noises no hearing me tapping on the keyboard or moving my controller thumbsticks and stuff like that it should sound a lot more crisp so hopefully that'll sound good to you guys again i want you guys to leave in the comment section below any like critiques you have you know if the audio is not perfect let me know because i'm going to be messing around with that same with the quality as well now i know i can improve the quality of this video because i have discovered something i could actually make the quality of this video a lot better and that will be happening but unfortunately when i was recording this gameplay i didn't do that you know the settings that i needed to do to make the quality a little bit more better than what it is but it is a very a, a lot better view viewing quality than what i did in my previous video which as you guys know i streamed through the xbox app through the twitch app on the xbox and took the gameplay from there and i tried my best of it to make it look good and it just wasn't that great so i do apologize for that video again i tried my best to make that game that video look as good as possible but it wasn't that great so but now we will be able to record and upload videos more consistently more more often and be able to do the videos i wanted to do you know class setups uh, discussions about say warzone and things going on with black ops cold war all those videos are going to be returning coming back and going to be a lot more often than what it has been because again i think i haven't uploaded for like 10 days now and i don't think i've ever done that on this channel since actually starting this channel so yeah but expect more regular content and today is going to be the start of that which is a 67 and 17 gameplay but not only that it is a nuclear gameplay with the ksp and i'll probably have a little intro to show you guys what the class up is on this ksp and during this gameplay i will also discuss why i'm using these attachments on the ksp you guys would know that if you're if you've you know been in the channel for a while you'll know that i like to talk about the class up and explain why i use it and what makes the comb my combination of attachments work so well for certain guns and today again the ksp i got a nuclear again the 67 and 17 isn't the most amazing school line in the world i do prefer to have a lot less deaths than what i did but i got a nuclear and i had to show showcase it especially as now i am building up my portfolio of uh gameplays for you guys because obviously moving to a new pc i could have possibly taken my old gameplays but I, I decided not to i decided they're a bit outdated especially as the last time i recorded was probably a month ago now that was the last time my pc was able to fully able to like run properly the old one that is and I just decided I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to build up new gameplays for you guys so they're more recent and you guys can like follow along and you know, it's not going to be something like where I upload an AK-74U gameplay from like two months ago or something. So yeah, all these gameplays you're going to be seeing are recent and this one was like two days ago or something and it was the first day I got the PC and I was pretty happy and pretty excited to get the nuclear and showcase to you guys the KSP because the KSP, I did do a gameplay with it 
you know, again, it wasn't the greatest quality, so that's why I wanted to make sure I did a better video and did a proper class setup for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And let's get into talking about the class setup and kind of what's going to be happening as well with the channel. So again, class setups, gameplays, all coming back. Let me know in the comment section below if it's anything you want to see. Like, is there a class setup you specifically want to see? Is there a video about a certain topic you want to specifically see? Let me know, because again, I will be doing that now. Hopefully, you know, this will... It'll be a lot more consistent than what it was before. Let's put it that way. Trust me, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be spending, you know, ten or ten or more days not uploading. That just isn't gonna happen anymore. I'm gonna try and like keep it to a two to three day schedule, hopefully, depending on those work, my work situation as well. Obviously, that you know does bite into my time to be able to give you guys the gameplays and videos you want. But again, I will get on that. I will make sure I get these videos out. And just let me know if, if there's anything you want to see in the comment section below and i will happily you know talk about and discuss things that you want to talk you want to see so yeah let's get into talking about the ksp as well so the ksp as you saw in the intro i showed you my class setup i'm going to talk about like why i use my attachments also the kill streaks you guys know uav war machine harp there's just nothing better in the game obviously we've had new kill streaks added like the death machine etc it's not the greatest thing in the world and again personally for me the uav war machine harp setup is just so overpowered but Currently, a lot of people have been running air patrol, so you do have to very, you know, bear that in mind. You might want to try running air patrol yourself as well, because it is quite useful. Again, it doesn't stop people from using the war machine, but other people are using harp kill streaks and stuff. And a lot of the times, I've had some bad teammates, you know, due to the team bouncing in this game. They kind of like cost you those harp kill streaks, and then you've got to try and stay off the radar, etc. And it's just not going to happen. So possibly running the air patrol uh, kill streak is also a good option. Personally, for me, UAV war machine harp is just a great. Kill streak setup and nuclear setup. You know, if you really want to get nuclears, that is the best setup, in my opinion. The UAV, uh, was it War Machine and Harp? Best setup, in my opinion, for nuclears. But yeah, let's talk about the KSP then. Keep avoiding the pro uh, what I'm supposed to be talking about, but the KSP. We'll start off with the muzzle. What did I go with? I went with the muzzle break 0.45. And the reason for that, only plus 4% vertical recoil control. But you're probably thinking, that's not a lot, Taz. Why would I want to possibly run that? So on the KSP, you'll probably notice horizontal recoil is a lot okay it's getting over the 300s and that's quite a lot of horizontal recoil control so running the infantry compensate which is what i normally like to do yes gives you that plus 12 percent vertical but it does take away eight percent horizontal recoil recoil and that's just that's just too much okay there's too much horizontal already in this gun like i've said before with horizontal recoil horizontal recoil is your left to right recoil and your vertical is obviously your up and down rate recoil and the having to control horizontal recoil especially if it's going left to right constantly is going to make it so much harder to control so you want to try and make this number as low as possible same with vertical but the vertical is a lot easier to control on a on a controller different on mouse and keyboard but again i believe mouse and keyboard you know is going to have the same issue with horizontal recoil control it's not easy to control so i personally would rather sacrifice a lot more vertical recoil control just to make sure i'm not giving any more negatives to the horizontal so yeah go with the muzzle break 0.45 for that specific reason next up the barrel this is what's going to make this gun over the edge like quite overpowered i'd say this can be like an absolute machine with this attachment which is the task force barrel used to run this on my 74u we'll be doing a 74u video discussing that because of the nerf that that gun received but the 10.5 task force barrel 50 a plus six percent damage taking it to 53 so that's 53 per shot so effectively you can get a one burst you can get a one burst by default but this is basically going to guarantee that uh 22.86 effective damage range as we get a plus 50 percent to that and then bullet velocity a plus 75 percent and bullet velocity is massively important it helps stop like inconsistencies basically with the game like say the game lags or that at certain distances you want your bullets to be hitting like instantly pretty much and having it on the bullet velocity it does have by default which is like 265 i believe isn't great so it was a buff but it's still not great and you want to make sure that number's a lot higher than what it currently is still not perfect having 463 bullet velocity but it will help out massively especially those longest distances where you want to be making sure you're hitting directly on your target and not having to like lead shots and stuff it's gonna help out so yeah task or spout make sure you're using that key attachment to this gun next up under barrel now there's a few options here but i personally went with the front grip which is just the plus 15 percent horizontal just because it's all benefits okay you get the plus 15 percent horizontal recoil control bonus and there's no downsides absolutely no negatives to this attachment whatsoever 
you could go with the Field Agent 4 group. Personally, yes, you get the 20% horizontal and you get plus 6% vertical, but the minus 30% shooting move speed just takes away from this being an SMG. You want to have that strafe speed. It's a massive advantage in this game, especially with, if you're using an SMG against an assault rifle. You want to be making sure you keep that advantage in those gunfights. Because again, in this game, SMGs strafe still quite fast. Not amazingly fast, but it's quite fast. And assault rifles move very slow. So if you're against someone with an assault rifle, you want to be making sure that you're you're taking a, you know, advantage of that strafe speed, especially in those longer distances as well. You want to be trying to make that guy with the assault rifle or the LMG or whatever it is they're using, you want to be trying to make sure they miss. So taking that away from the SMG by adding the field agent full grip is a big no-no. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be taking away the big strong advantage of using SMGs in this game. Then you've got the SFOD speed grip. I would recommend this, but personally, I still feel like taking away the shoot move speed and that is just a little bit too much with this. I know it's only 6% as a negative, but it still feels like too much to me. So I personally went with the front grip, you know, plus 15% less horizontal recoil. What's not to like about that with no negatives. Finally, the handle and the stock. You want to be using the bottom versions of each, okay? The airborne elastic wrap for the handle, simply because aim down sight time improved by 30%. 90% less flinch resistance, that's massive. And then aim while going prone, all massive benefits. Shooting move speed and sprint to fire time are negatives, but you do fix that by adding the stock, which is the Raider stock, plus 30% sprint to fire time and plus 10% aim walking move speed to make this feel like an SMG. And again, this SMG can do distance. It's got a lot of damage. It's got good recoil now. It's it's just perfect, really, in my opinion. This SMG is very good, possibly better than the 74U. I'm still yet to you know decide what's better between the two. But the KSP is an extremely, extremely strong gun now. So definitely be taking advantage of this gun. Give it a shot. Try it out with the Class 7. Again, as you guys saw, I got a nuclear with it. So it's a pretty strong gun in my opinion. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.